Good morning, YouTube. Hello, subscribers. Hello, everyone, friends and family. I hope all is well. I haven't forgot about you. I am barely getting back to work right now from my vacation and another situation, which I'm going to soon tell you about. It is July 13th. I went on vacation end of June. So last week of June. So I have a uh, I've been out of work for a long time. There are bugs every herd. Thanks a lot, Louisiana. Um, but let me tell you guys what happened. So the Wednesday before my vacation, on my way to a truck stop, I got D-rate codes on my truck saying, hey, you need to pull, you need to pull your truck over within 59 minutes um, and find service immediately, blah, blah, blah. So ended up stopping, call, called road repair, road repair looked up my truck block this and that they said you know what continue driving drive out your clock don't shut off the engine for anything when you get to the truck stop go ahead and uh, shut off the engine by the time you get there your d-ray codes may turn off may not don't count on it so i had three hours left on my clock i drove it out made it to a truck stop um and ended up getting a hotel because i didn't want to run my engine with the d-ray going on and it was hot so I got a hotel, but anywho, following or on the way there, those D-rate codes did end up going off, but I still had error codes on my Trimble um, of what those all the errors were going on. So following morning, D-rate codes are off, Trimble error codes are still there. So I ended up calling Road Repair again, asking them what they wanted me to do. They said, "Go ahead, Paul." Go ahead and make make your delivery. Give us a call after that. So all right. So I had about a good two hours of drive to the consignee Thursday morning. Get over to the consignee. Get unloaded. All is good. All of a sudden, I get a note, say uh, a notice from them saying, "Hey, we got a tow truck coming to get you." And I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. My truck is drivable. It's everything's fine. I got the error codes, but it is drivable." They said. Okay, no problem. Um, and at this time, I was on my way after talking to my truck uh, fleet manager, saying, hey, I need to get a truck wash. My vacation's coming up. I'm gonna have to take my truck to a uh, repair place. Let me get my truck washed so we could get that done. And it'll be two weeks after that. I'll be ready to go. Truck will be done within the two weeks, that the time frame that uh, TMC wants us to get our truck washed. So, go and get the truck washed. And while I'm at the truck wash, road repair calls me and says, hey, instead of going to the, the repair shop, go ahead and change the fuel filter. And I was like, are you sure? Truck is running. I could drive it 50 miles over to the repair place, change the fuel filter there if you want, and have it over there. They said, no, go ahead and do it right where you're at. So I changed the fuel filter. Once I changed the fuel filter, the engine would not start. Engine would not start at all. So they have to call a repair a tow truck, tow truck to come to pull me. And I had issues with my trailer too. Now the trailer, I knew was having issues. I was gonna let a road repair know about it before my vacation so I could take it to a trailer repair shop so it could get fixed while I was on vacation. Well, I wasn't expecting my truck to have issues, so both things needed to be fixed while I was on vacation. Well, TMC did not set it up that way. TMC set it up where only the truck was scheduled to get fixed and the trailer was gonna wait, which was beyond me. Why not kill both? stones with one bird both bird one bro both birds with one stone there it is and get that done at the same time the same place if not the same place two separate places just getting done at the same time while i'm on vacation so we get towed or i get towed from hammond all the way to like new orleans east they drop off my trailer at the tow trucks tow yard then from there we drop off the truck to the repair shop then the guy takes me home. I didn't get home until Thursday night until like 10 or 9 p.m., 10 p.m., something like that. Either way, it's fine with me. 
Um, on vac getting ready for vacation, I was actually at home a day early because of this whole breakdown issues, stuff like that. Well, go on my vacation, enjoy myself, come back. The Wednesday that the Thursday that I come back, my truck is ready to go. My truck's ready. My trailer's not. My trailer's still sitting at the trailer yard or at the tow truck's yard, just sitting there. So on my vacation, I had to go Uber to my truck, pick up my truck, bobtail all the way to the trailer yard or the tow truck yard, pick up my trailer, take my trailer to somewhere else to get repaired. And so it starts to get repaired not on Thursday when I drop it off, not on Friday, and not on Monday because Monday was July 4th. So they didn't start operating on my trailer until Tuesday. All right, so here's some more fiasco. If that wasn't enough, Thurs that next Thursday, they said the trailer's ready. I go try to, I go connect up to it, do a pre-trip on it, ABS light is still on. They, I drop my trailer and I bobtail back home. They try to fix it some more. Monday, I believe. Or okay, so then my new trainee's in town on Sunday. My trailer's not yet fixed. So on Monday, they're like, okay, trailer's fixed. So my trainee came into town. Monday, trailer's fixed. We go pick it, try to pick it up yesterday or Tuesday. Monday, we just try to go pick it up Monday and it's still not fixed. There was something else wrong with it. The ABS light was still coming on. Oh. I actually drove around their lot a couple of times, check it, ABS light didn't turn on. Get out their yard, go up the street, didn't even make it to the first stop sign, the ABS lights turned on. So we ended up taking it right back for it to get fixed. So then we go back home. So Monday was a waste of day. Tuesday, finally, TMC was like, hey Paul, go ahead and just pick up your truck. We're gonna leave the trailer where it's at. This is something I told him last week, but Pick up your truck, leave the trailer, you're right near Home Depot Distribution Center, go there, get a preloaded trailer. Whenever your trailer is fixed, we'll have somebody go get it. It's only about a 10 mile drive, not bad at all. So, end up, end up doing that. We got a load of Home Depot building material. Sorry, that was probably fast, got you all dizzy. Just some shingles, we got some wood, got some plywood, got some, uh, Got some pipe, got some ladders up there, some shingles in the front. And this was my trainee's very first load. We're actually uh, forklift drivers coming over now to get unloaded. And uh, trainee's doing good so far. His name's Tony Sweat. He is an army veteran. Thank you for your service, Tony. And a uh, really cool guy. He's a subscriber of mine, lives up in Missouri. And he, uh, him and I have been talking for quite a bit. He was a driver referral of mine. Thank you for that as well, Tony. And yeah, so uh, this is day one of his uh, of his day full days today, really. Um, yesterday, all we did was was go and pick up that uh, Home Depot load and drive it about just 200 and some odd miles over here. So a uh, really short day, really easy. Um, and today's gonna be a full day. So he's doing good so far and um, should be a good four weeks, should be a good four weeks. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, so another thing that's really, really cool. I wanna give a shout out to Terry. Uh, Terry over at that trailer repair place. So, you know, when I go to TMC Des Moines or any of the TMC terminals, I can expect to get recognized over there. You know, uh, TMC subscribers and drivers and uh, subscribers of mine going over to TMC seeing me I love it and I love to get saying hi to um, it's great to meet everyone I don't expect to get recognized just somewhere else but at this trailer repair place up in Hammond Louisiana there's a gentleman there by the name of Terry that works there he came over not uh, came up to me and said hey man I recognize your truck number and you you're a white collar trucker on YouTube aren't you I was like yes He's like, man, I watch your videos all the time. And that was really cool, Terry. I appreciate it. Um, hello to your wife as well. I know she's a fan. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And thank you for coming and saying hi. Any of you guys, if you guys see me out on the road at a TMC terminal, please come and say hi. This is my 15 minutes of fame in my life. 
and I really enjoy meeting you guys. I really enjoy um, saying hi. So please don't be shy. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Um, driver referrals. Hey, if you are interested in TMC and you and you have any questions about TMC, any questions about what it's like driving for TMC, what the daily grind is like, give me a holler. Um, my phone number is 818-457-1771. Let's do it again. Say it again. 818-457-1771. Please feel free to uh, uh, reach out. My email is also in my description of my videos. And uh, yeah, let's give a chat. Shoot, hit me up. Um, I'll enter you down as a driver referral. You'll get a uh, link to a to an application. Uh, make it real easy on you. I'll answer your questions for you. And when you go to TMC orientation, I'll get cool one thousand dollar driver bonus uh, referral bonus. Really awesome. Really helpful. I would appreciate that. Um. And other than that, this is going to be uh, a normal day. Uh, we're going to go in and get loaded. It's, it's Wednesday, so we only got half the week left. So it's going to be a really, really short week. Um, but it should be a damn good week. He's got a lot of learning to do. I got a lot of teaching to do. Don't know how many videos I could put out in the next four weeks, but I'm definitely going to try. I definitely wanted to get this one out because it's been a long while since I dropped the video. And I wanted to let you guys know what's going on. One week off. For vacation one week off because of truck and trailer issues and now finally i'm back on on the road and it feels good i missed it uh, it's been close to like two and a half weeks almost uh that is way too long to be out of work uh but good news is breakdown pay with tmc is you get 50 dollars for the first day which is not a lot 50 dollars for the second day which is not a lot but if you get if you're broken down three days or more you'll get your daily average starting from day one until you're back on the road again so i pretty much got paid as if i was working during both of those two weeks off so thank you tmc for that much appreciated and um i am back on the road ready to kick some butt and take some names so all right you guys hey have a good one Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for hitting that like button. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, get at you guys soon. Oh, yes, I did get my tooth fixed. Look at that smile. Now my smile is great and I feel 100%. So you guys know what to do. Show off your smiles because you got a great one.